Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. Today I'm going to show you how to make this t-shirt with an ice dye technique, but first let's go into the supplies. As always, I put all of the links down in the description below. So I'm starting with a pre-washed 100% cotton t-shirt, Procyon dyes from Dharma Trading, soda ash to fix the dye, Synthrapol to wash, also known as dyer's detergent, a plastic tray, ice, about six to eight cups, a drain spout that I also have called a flipper dripper before, a PVC pipe for wrapping the shirt, gloves, and a drop cloth to keep my space tidy. Now for the folding. I'm taking my pre-washed cotton t-shirt and I'm wrapping it around this PVC pipe. I'm using a PVC pipe that's about an inch and a half in diameter, but you can use a bigger one if you have that one. It might give you a little bit less resist and you can play around with different pipe sizes. So I'm just going to scrunch it around kind of in an accordion style, but not very neat. And I'm going to wrap my string around it, pulling it super tight with each pass. And then I'm going to scrunch it up as I go. I really like this pull wrapping technique. It's based off of Arashi Shibori. I kind of do my own take on it to scrunch it to give it more of an organic feeling. If you're interested in watching more tutorials with this technique, I'll link them down in the description below and I'm putting a card here and I'll put it at the end of the video too. I have a lot of dyeing tutorials for different types of dye and different techniques on my channel, so be sure to check them out. Here's a little close up of it all wrapped up and the next thing we're gonna do is soak it in some soda ash. So in my plastic tray, I'm going to put my soda ash solution. I'm using about a gallon of water to half a cup of soda ash. The pole was making it hard to get it completely saturated, so I poured some soda ash on top. I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes, and I just wanna make sure the soda ash is completely in that fabric. Okay, so now I wanna look at my color swatches and decide which colors I wanna use for my ice dyeing today. If you have been around on my channel, you may have watched the ice dyeing swatch video. If you wanna check it out, you can go and watch it. I'll link it down in the description below and put a card at the end of this video. I made these swatches so I can like decide like mix and match like different color combinations when I'm dyeing a project and it's going to be really useful. So let's see, what do I want? So today I'm going to use shiitake, bubble gum, and amethyst. So they might turn out a little bit different, but um, I think that this combination is going to be pretty. Maybe I'll add a little bit of black too, just for some definition. Yeah, let's do that. This will be nice. So after 20 minutes of soaking, I'm going to put my flipper dripper into a tray and then add my shirt. And now I'm gonna put down some dye. I'm starting with the lightest color bubble gum and I'm putting that at the top. Then I'm coming in with some shiitake mushroom. This technique is going to allow the ice to drip down at an incline and run down the entire shirt, which is, is a really pretty technique and effect. If you're interested in learning more about incline dyeing, I have a few really good tutorials on my channel that I'll also link down below and at the end of this video. So I'm coming in with some amethyst and raven at the bottom. I always like to use the darkest color at the bottom because it's the most strong. So now I'm gonna put just a little more bubble gum on top of everything to kind of tie the colors together. And now I'm gonna put my ice on. I'm starting at the bottom because it's the darkest colors and I don't want to contaminate the top with the darker colors and I'm going to just layer it carefully and then allow it to sit for 24 to 48 hours. I want to take a quick minute to say that I have multiple online dyeing classes on my Skillshare profile. If you are a member of Skillshare, you can watch them for free. And if you'd like to try Skillshare, you can try it for one month free with the link down in the description below. I'm a member and I love watching Skillshare classes and also teaching on Skillshare. 
Okay, so now it's time to open up our ice dye. So I'm being very careful not to make a mess. I have my drop cloth down. Another little tip that I like is to have a rag that is damp nearby so I can wipe down the surface and my hands to make sure that I don't get dye on the resist or on the other colors. Alrighty, let's see. Tidy, okay. <gasps> Oh wow, that is really cool. All right, in the back. So now I'm going to rinse it with cold and wash off my flipper dripper too. I'm gonna rinse it until the water runs clear with cold water. Then I'm gonna wash it on hot with Synthrapol, also known as dyer detergent, which helps the dye from bleeding. So it's a really great product. After that, I'm gonna wash it in my washing machine and dry it on hot. So here it is after I've washed it and dried it for the first time. And I decided that it had a little too much resist or too much white space in the design. So I wanted to go back and Redye it. I think that this would have worked if it was a dark color, just solid, like if it was indigo, I think it would have been fine. But with the lighter colors at the bottom, I really wanted a little bit more definition. So I'm coming in and I'm just making mini spirals and holding them with one hand and making more spirals with the other hand. I'm just working my way up the shirt and holding it all together. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see this pattern just by itself. It is a really fun pattern. Now I'm going to come in with some string and wrap it around the whole thing, just going slowly around the whole thing. My goal is to just keep this together and kind of like a disc. I don't want it to be too tight because I want there to be some nooks and crannies for the ice to melt into the dye and to run down the entire shirt. So now I'm going to just tie it off and then going to do another round of ice dye. So if you have a project that didn't turn out the way you thought, you could always re-dye it and don't worry too much about it. All right, so now I'm going to do another soda ash soak. After 20 minutes, I'm wringing it out and I'm actually just gonna use this bucket uh, because it's about the same size and it's not going to waste any ice. So now I'm going to put down some more bubblegum and shiitake. And I'm not using the darker colors just because I want to make sure that the bubblegum and the shiitake can shine through on the white parts of the design that are still left. So I'm just going to add it all around the top, making sure it's getting onto the nooks and the crannies. And now I'm going to add some more ice on top of the entire thing and I'm gonna let it sit for another day or two. All right, so it's time to open up my ice dye and I am going to take it out of this bucket. Can you see it? It's all melted and let's see what it looks like. Here's a shot of it after it's all melted. It's a lot more saturated and dark, so it should be promising. All right, it's time for the final reveal. Let's see how it turned wow. out. That is pretty cool looking. All right, so I got a lot more color this time around. So now I'm gonna go rinse this with cold and wash it with hot. So now I'm gonna rinse it with cold just like I did the last time and wash it with hot and Synthrapol just like the last time. So here is the finished shirt and I really like the gradation of colors from light to dark and I really like the way that it has sort of 50-50 color and white space on the shirt. You can see it got a lot of really great splits from the colors. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used any of these techniques for ice dyeing and how they turned out. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to follow me on social media at Onyx Art Studio. You can also check out my online 
workshops at my website, onyxartstudio.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these other tutorials on my channel. I have a lot of videos about dyeing, sewing, and upsell. I also have an entire playlist just for ice dyeing, so go ahead and check that out. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for a new video every Thursday. All right, see you guys later. Bye.